Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at straight line graphs and what we're told is is the straight line passes through these coordinates. So I'm just going to draw a quick sketch of what that would look like. We've got one coordinate which is 3, 5, so mm, something like about there and then we've got one coordinate which is 7, 13, so 7 and 13, something like that. And we're told there's a straight line that passes through those coordinates. And what we're asked to do is to find the equation of that straight line. Well, the general form of the equation is going to be what they call y equals mx plus c. Now, I'm very aware that with um, some textbooks, they'll say that slightly differently, but it basically amounts the same thing. What we're saying really is this value of m is the gradient, and this value of c is the y-intercept. It's actually where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so let's look at the gradient first. Well, the easiest way of dealing with the gradient is difference in y divided by difference in x. Now, one of the reasons I think it's a good idea to actually sketch the graph is it'll give you a very clear idea as to whether it's a positive gradient, which it is in this case. It's kind of shaped a bit like a tick. It is a positive gradient, and there will be some questions where it's a negative gradient, but it's much better to get an idea first. Difference in y, well, I'm looking at the difference in the y coordinates. So I've got 13 minus five, which is gonna be equal to eight. And then at the bottom, I've got the difference in x. So the difference in the x coordinates is 7 take away 3, which is going to be 4. So therefore, the gradient of this particular line is going to be 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So I'm a step closer now to being able to write the equation for this line as y equals 2x plus c. And then it's just really a case of taking whichever set of coordinates you like, uh, I'm just going to take the simple one, the easier one, uh, because what they're saying here is that when y is equal to 5, x is equal to 3. So we can use that information to find out the value of c. So x is equal to 5 equals 2 times 3 plus c. And then it's really just a matter of a little bit of algebra to kind of sort that one out. So we've got 5 equals 6 plus c, so therefore c equals minus one. So my sketch oh, is a little bit accurate there. This value here is going to be minus one. Okay, not always that accurate, but that's not too bad on this one because I can write the full equation as y equals 2x minus 1. And that would be the answer to this particular question. I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below. I always come back to you. Have a look at the rest of the playlist. It's a little bit trickier in the next question. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.